Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of my Fire Emblem Three Houses playthrough. Now, as I had mentioned in the previous episodes, I have been on vacation for a few weeks. So I am coming back. I haven't played the game uh, in about two and a half weeks. So let's see if I can remember where we left off on. So we are here instructing some of our students. Edelgard is a warlock. Bernadette is a warlock. Dorothea is a Pegasus Knight. Petra is a warlock. Lysithia is a wyvern rider. Fortress Knight Leon. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Oh, Eureka is a death knight. Anna is a trickster. Yuri is a sword master. Constance is a monk. Was I using Constance? I can't remember. Because she's about the same level as all the other people I know I've been using. Oh, anyway. Let's go ahead and start training. We'll go ahead and start training some of these guys. I'm in if I remember correctly, I believe we were working on Faith for Edelgard here. Um, I think we'll do Faith for Ferdinand as well. If we're lucky, we might be able to get him. Nope. Those last two goods didn't allow us to get him an A for Faith. Uh, Bernadetta. I guess we're doing the same thing. I think it's just Faith all around for the most part. So yeah, as, as I had mentioned, you know, I was on vacation the last couple of weeks. Uh, I actually went to Hawaii until yesterday, actually. I got home yesterday evening. Uh, and it was it was a fun time you know there were tons of Sun lots of beaches you know the things you would normally find at Hawaii or think about when you think about Hawaii so that was super fun let me know in the comments down below uh, if you would like to hear more about it I do pre-record most of this series so if you do want to hear about my trip to Hawaii It'll probably come out next week if you guys are interested in that. And if you guys aren't interested in that, it is okay as well. I know sometimes hearing about other okay. people's vacation just isn't super fun to do. Be and I don't blame you for it. I'm getting because, you know, for me, that was the first time I went on vacation in two years. So if I was in the shoes of not having a vacation for two years, um, and all of a sudden... I'm watching a video and they're talking Your about theirs, and I, I feel a little jealous. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to hear uh, about that, and I'll make a video on it. Now, one crazy thing that happened while I was out of town uh, was that Pokemon video I made, my team for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, well, that blew up. Uh, I think right now, as, we're, as I'm recording, it's sitting at about 2,600 views. Uh, which, I mean, is awesome. Um, so thank you guys so much for the support on the video. Uh, as this episode comes out, my plan is currently to have a, another Pokemon video following this one. So if it happens, it should be tomorrow. And if it doesn't happen then just keep an eye out for it in the future. All right, so we'll get Petra and those two on the thing. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like I remembered at least that correctly. Petra needs to fly a little bit. Why were we having Petra fly? That, hmm, okay. Well, I guess we're having Petra fly or something. So we'll go ahead and begin the training. Oh, Ferdinand has a question. Death is an inevitable result of military conflict. Not only soldiers, but also war horses who have no say in their line of work, lay down their lives on the battlefield. What steps can a commander take to minimize this loss of life? 
Ooh, adopt new tactics to increase survivability. Craft durable armor for the horses. That is a good option. I think that first one was the best one. So Ferdinand gets some motivation back, which is great. See if anything fun happens during the week. Oh, maybe on Friday here. See what's going on. If only the loading wouldn't take this long. Let's oh, make it quick. nope, of nothing. Course. Looks like it was just Here's the the flyers. Still good. Haven't gotten any perfects on it. I'm a quick study. Intuition's okay. all I need. All right, so a couple things learned there. It's St. Sarah's Day. There will be a hymn recital in the cathedral. Yeah, sure, we'll participate. Maybe we'll get some of our magic users in there. Yuri and Balthus. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. They all can use a little bit of faith in their life. Okay, so what do we have in store for us? this upcoming week. I do believe we are going to battle. Oh, we have quite a bit. Okay. We do have a paralogue, but that is available until the 26th, the 426. You know what? Let's do Anna's paralogue today. We'll go ahead and save our game and let's see what Anna's Paralog has in store for us. What to do? What to do? Not really sure I should be trusting him. What but if I can make about? a decent profit? Is she talking about us? Let me help! Professor! You need some money? Of course you do. I've got the perfect job for you. Although, it's not without its issues. A job, you say? Yep. Apparently, there's some priceless treasure that's been unearthed. If you can believe it, it predates the Adrestian Empire. Oh, I've been that's asked to old. secure troops for the job, but I've got to cover the cost for them. The upside is whatever we find, we get halfsies on. But there's a downside, too. The potential to find nothing? Bingo. If we find nothing, I'll be eating those upfront costs. But just imagine the gold if we do find something. It's a risk I'm willing to take. All right, this Mrs. Moneybags. From a merchant named Pilardo. Ever heard of him? He frequents the Pilardo. monastery, so he must be somewhat trustworthy, right? I you know have what? a feeling after that yeah, I'm gonna do he's going to, like, backstab us, betray us. I've got a bad feeling about what this. What do you mean? Money will be raining down from the heavens. Isn't that enticing enough? I need you. Your job's going to be to find someone who can help out. And then I'll need you on board at the excavation site. Naturally, the more treasure we dig up, the more money you get. Sound good? Yeah, I'll find the treasure. Your services are appreciated as always. Let's head out. <laughs> Come on, we'll be rolling in gold. Now I may... Oh, you reach us here. Uh, you starting a conversation i'm confused i'll go uh it's not a battle i smell blood anna i sense a death about you whoa 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 what's with the gloomy death talk you're scaring me i uh well I suppose it wouldn't hurt for you to join in then. Shall we? We all really right. hit the jackpot! Just look at all those shinies! <laughs> ah, yes. We'll be filthy rich. <laughs> As you say, Miss Anna, thanks to you, we've achieved our goals. Uh, hey, Pilardo. What's with the cavalry? Ah, they're here to transport the treasures. It's quite a load, after all. 
You're trying to pull something? We agreed on a 50-50 split. Yes, you have it right. Stop fretting about it. You'll be receiving your cut just as soon as I determine the exact value. Nuh-uh. No way, no how. I can't agree to that. As a merchant yourself, you know I can't. No way am I watching my share of the treasure gallop off into the sunset. We're splitting this up right here and now. I'm not agreeing to it any other way. Whether or not you agree, I'll be on my way now. Come on then, men. Let's go. Wait! Come back here! And now it's a hunt rather than a battle. How very boring. All right. Now, I may have mentioned this before, but Anna is probably one of my favorite characters in most Fire Emblem games. And for those of you who don't know, Anna is a reoccurring character in almost every single... I, I want to say it's every single Fire Emblem to date. Um, I think almost. But she's been in a lot of them. She's always been a merchant. Uh, I know in the first Fire Emblem game I played, uh, what was it, Fire Emblem and the Sacred Stone, I remember her being in the secret shop, and the secret shop was something that was super hard to, uh, to get into. Uh, you had to, like, steal a secret key from a certain character on a level, um, who his only job in that level was to escape, um... And then in the secret shops were in like two specific areas on like two separate maps. It was very interesting um, and just kind of the mysteriousness surrounding Anna just intrigued me. Uh, so I was very happy when I learned that you could play her in some of the more recent Fire Emblem games. But enough about that. Let's get into battle here. So they have quite a bit. Oh, they just have concoctions. He has a hammer. Ooh, that hammer will be good for Lysithia. A venom lance. And a venom axe. Okay. Well. Let's move some people around. Ooh, and we will also want to heal our battalions. Do not forget about that. There we are. Come back. All right. And I guess we'll just hop right into the battle the wagon here. wagon will be here any minute now. Everyone, guard the treasure until it arrives. Do you really think you're getting away with all that loot? Ha! Okay. You may not be aware, but I know a thing or three about magic. Ha! A thing or three. I like, I like that. He knows how to warp things away? You gotta be kidding me. We gotta put a stop to Florida right now. Otherwise, the treasure will be out of our hands for good. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. well, first things first. Let's see what Anna is able to do. Hmm. Not a whole Understood. lot. Yuritsa, on the other hand. Yuritsa, mm. on the other hand, he can do quite a bit, but if he's getting hit for 18 damage, potentially. Ready for anything. We could take out that guy there with Anna and Ferdinand combined, and then Yuritsa can take out the other guy on the left. So, Let's what about Lysithia? Lysithia can't My reach orders? anybody, neither can Leone. For the Empire. Hmm. Edelgard can't reach anyone I there. Petra, on the other hand, can. Alright, I guess we'll start things off with Petra here. Hitting a double wind. She's actually able to hit pretty My hard nowadays. Oh, she is level 30 as well. Nice. Okay. 
Bernadetta's level 30. Wait, is the Warlock? No, okay. Okay, I was seeing, so the Warlock isn't the final phase. Oh, and we get a crit. So we still have a couple people and we maybe should have done that before this battle. But it looks like we have one, two, three, four, at least four characters who could okay. potentially rank up. Yuri's pretty close as well. We'll drop Dorothea into the forest. Oh, because I moved Leone there, that's not gonna work anymore. Okay, well that messes things up a little bit. What's my strategy? Okay. He'll have a couple people fighting him over here. Although if we get into the forest, we should be able to mitigate quite a bit. Move Anna over here as well. And then Ferdinand over this way. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, Leona taking no damage from him. That's awesome. Able to fire back with a huge ax hit. Ooh, 30 damage. But that's okay. I don't think anyone else can attack Ferdinand there. Oh, and he tried... Is he poisoned? Did he poison us? We are poisoned. Okay. Okay, good. The archer misses Yuritsa. Follows up with a crit. All right. You know what? I kind of like Yuritsa. He's able to take two people out by himself. Gets a Venom Lance as well. Mm, we're actually going to hold on to that. Venom Lance would be pretty nice. Ooh, Bernadetta getting hit pretty hard by the archer there. Okay. Oh, we only have a certain amount of turns before we can win. Oh. So we need to win in 10 ooh do we have to route the enemy was that what we needed to do we have to kill everyone ooh boy okay well we will have yuri over here Step aside. yeah seems what about right Amazing. oh and he can move again so we're gonna have him just go over this way. Um, does anyone need a heal? Ferdinand does. So we'll heal Ferdinand over with Bernadetta. And then we will actually heal Bernadetta up with Petra. That's a good amount there. I hope she's able to survive both of these archers. Oh, we are able to take out this guy with Edelgard. Oh, and they're both super close. Both super close to mastering their classes. We're gonna go ahead and mount up and take off with Dorothea. And then same thing with Lysithia. We're actually gonna try and take this guy out. And it looks like we will be able to. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I will not die yet. Put the pure water away. Rusted gauntlets will send those away as well. Mm. Anna's not able to take out the archer by herself unless... No, no crit. I was hoping maybe, maybe she would get a crit there, but she did not. Let's test out our new Venom Lance we just got. 
no chance to crit, but it still attacks twice, so the poisoning so effect doesn't really help out at all. Oh, he can move again, though. So we're going to send him up here to maybe draw the enemy out a bit. And we can attack the archer over here. 90% chance to hit. We do get it. Okay. Good job, Ferdinand. Okay, so we, it looks like we just took out one of the commanders. Hmm, now, unfortunately, I don't have any axe... Any axe combat arts equipped. So he'll just get free damage onto us. I don't have any normal magic for him. We're gonna take this guy out with the steel sword. The crit wasn't necessary, Ilith, but I'll accept it. Oh, they're bringing more people in. Three, four. Finally, boy, Pilardo, leave them to us. Glad I hired those mercenaries. Now I can worry about myself and get out of here. Oh. I figured there would be more of them. Well, I'm sure more will show up soon. That, okay, so more people will be coming. Okay, that guy misses. Now, I don't want to pull too many of them at once. Because if I pull too many of them at once, I could get overwhelmed and potentially have some of my units fall. Ooh, big hit. This is the cost of war. Ferdinand is also poisoned now, so we'll need to heal him up. Ooh, Bernadetta. Is she gonna be okay? She is, okay, so she lives. My cats are playing in the background. If you heard a loud thud on the mic, I don't know if you did or not, but they just knocked uh, one of their toys over. Okay, so we'll heal up Ferdinand with Anna here. Be careful. I think Nosferatu is in order here. This doesn't heal us up all the way. Perfect. That is great. Send a large Boolean out. Petra will be able to take out this archer here. Awesome. Gets one of her crests to activate two, one of her held crests. Which one was it? This one. Oh, sweet. So she conserved an attack. We're going to send Yuri over here. I don't think we can one shot the guy at all. Yeah. But we'll try. Maybe we'll get a crit. Oh, we don't get a crit, but we do get guard to activate, so he takes half damage. And Swordmaster. More speed, more dex. Basically, he's just going to hit everything. Move him up there. I think he'll be fine by himself. And even if he does take a little bit of damage, we do have Bernadetta over here who will be able to heal him up. I'm gonna send Dorothea this way. Let's see, can we take this guy out? We would be able to, but then that leaves Leonia, or Lysithia, not Leonia, to quite a few attacks from others. The archer threat is out of the way. Take out the magic man over here. I can actually attack this guy and do pretty decent damage with Ferdinand, but who is able to attack him from there? Oh, another another bowman. Okay. Ah uh, I 
think we'll just move everyone up here. That should be fine. That might not be fine. Okay. I thought... I thought Edelgard here would be able to make it. But she doesn't. And not she enough. still has more strength than magic. Oh, boy. Oh, Lysithia gets hit hard. Lysithia might go down here unless she's able to dodge the next axe attack. We'll throw the hammer out for now. Oh, I'm so happy she dodged that. The other guy didn't do as much damage as this guy would have. Okay, that was a good dodge. Okay, and we have one rogue going after Dorothea, which is good. One rogue going after Yuri. He's able to move twice. Yuri's just dodging like a maniac. And for some reason, he's going after my tank, who is faster than him? I've reached the top. W Wait a second. I'm confused. What just happened there? Okay, I was able to dodge, and I'm able to fire back with a Thoron. I'm so confused. Why is Leone faster than a man on a horse? 17 speed to 16 speed. Oh, but I do have... That's why. I have this right here, weight minus 3, which means everything he's using makes him slower. Okay, well that makes that makes sense. Still gonna use the axe, that's what we need. Make a difference. We need her to get up to level 30. That's not so bad. Oh he's he's getting scared now. Okay. Anna Anna's not quite able to finish him off. Not with really any of her attacks. So we're gonna use an axe. It does the most damage. And then Ferdinand. Ferdinand follow up. Okay, good. It's kind of risky because he could have attacked back. Edelgard hasn't really done much. Okay, we're gonna drop Lysithia off over here. Do this for all of us. Okay, I can get an attack off with Bernadetta. And, I mean, she's just probably the best character we have. We'll take out the horse with Yuri here, the bow archer. And just... Yuri is just a monster. Yuritsa, he'll come over here and take this guy out, no problem. So we'll skip over it. Yeah, the ability to move twice or move after your turn is just amazing. That's why this game is mostly dominated by those on horseback or those on you know who can fly. They're just I don't know, they're just so good. Once I kill you, I'll be able to go about my business without anyone around to damage my reputation. Oh, Pilardo. Oh boy, okay. So that's three more people we need to worry about over here. Four more people to worry about, okay. They're coming from the back lines now. They won't see this coming. Oh. That's very fitting. Poison tactic for this backstabbing. Ooh. Oh, Scythia taking some hits. Ah, not even close. Not even close. She is fine. Nothing to worry about. I'm going to slowly get Ferdinand over here. Heal him up with Anna. 
We're gonna send Yuritsa up here to take care of some of them. Petra able to take out this rogue. My heart burns with pride. I can't die yet. I do want to pull my Scythia back. Just so I can heal up with Edelgard to get back to full from like three HP. Take out. I'll take out Pilardo here. Let's see, can we get a crit with anything? Maybe? No crit, but we'll send a giant ice wall in his face. Why is it my spell working? I better get out of here and check on the wagon. Everyone, protect the treasure. The wagon will be here soon. Ooh. Well, at least the treasure's safe for now. That said. If that wagon gets back here, it's over. Better hurry and take back the rest of the spoils. Okay, so he's done for. I don't think Dorothea is able to really do much. Oh, she can do a little bit here. Can't kill, but it's something. At least she's trying. So we'll actually have a uh, Yuri yeah, finish, finish the job. Got a concoction. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, Pilardo. Nothing's going to plan, is it? We are actually going to send Byleth down here. Just in case he decides... That guy down there decides to come up this way. Now. Oh, he's using a thing. It does hit Yuritsa, though. Unfortunate. Yeah. Their mage, thinking that they can get the best of our Bernadetta here. She shows them who's boss. Alright, so we'll have Petra take care of this guy over here. Just because she has a few, few things left until she masters her class. Okay, two more battles, and then she is good to go. I guess we'll send Yuri over here. That way Edelgard can heal him up. She also needs two more battles. Aha! And Anna is able to take out with a crit. With a crit. All right, good job, Anna. 30, why is she has 33 speed? When did that happen? When did she get 33 speed? Ah, oh, we could have ended the battle right there. That's okay. Give the goddess my regard. Okay. Yeah, eh, I think we'll be fine. Move Yuritsa. Move Yuritsa over here. Yeah, that'll work. Actually, that works out. That works out. And then this next turn, we should be able to take out the rest of them. I'll heal Yuri. I do want to take one of these guys out. That way, maybe Petra can master the class. One more till she masters the class. Ready for anything. We'll keep Ferdinand over here. How many more enemies? Just those three. Let's make this quick. So I think that should do it. We'll end the turn here. Let's shake things up. Hmm. Perfect. Her warlock skills have been mastered. Bowbreaker. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. So this is as good as over. So I think we're just going to skip the remaining of the battles here. Unless... Bernadetta gets the kill there. Her mercenaries, however, have withdrawn. But that works out because now we can heal with Petra. Petra masters her class. Awesome. And I think, yeah, he's the last guy. I want to see if there's any way for Leone to take the kill. There is if I don't crit here. But knowing Yuritsa, good, he didn't crit. So say, knowing Yuritsa, he's going to crit. But I'm really glad he didn't. We're just going to milk as much experience as we can. Leone, get in here. Take the kill. There we go. And that's all she wrote. And that's a wrap. <laughs> Did we take too much? As if there is such a thing. Well, what goes around comes around. And that is the paralogue. So we will go ahead and get into the after story here. Bernadette at the MVP. Her motivation is maxed out, which is great. The secret transport force was added to the barracks. Sweet. Save our progress and let's get the end of the paralogue story and then we will end this episode off. That was time spent in vain. No, it wasn't. Thank you everyone for all the help. And just look at how much we got back. It should cover all our costs and then some. You'll be rewarded handsomely. Thank you. Though if that guy calls himself a merchant, maybe I shouldn't call myself one. We'd hmm. better let Hubert know all about this so he can give him what for. There's no need. I'll take care of him. Yuritsa, wait! And he's off. Well, nice. I almost feel bad for Pilardo. No, wait. He tried to rip me off. I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> and that is the paralogue. So we're getting right back into the swing of these longer episodes now. So guys, thank you so much for sticking with me through this series. We are coming to an end. We only have a few chapters left in this series or in this story. Um so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Again, the support on some of my projects have been amazing. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye.